Hi guys, Jane here from Swan Hill Library and thank you for uh, stopping by today. Um, we are going live, there was a couple of uh, technical hiccups so um, I will be doing the session live today. So we'll wait till hopefully we get a few people on. Um, but today is going to be about um, a country in the world. Um, we're looking at talking about a certain country that I would like you guys to guess. Um, this is all part of Harmony Day. Harmony Day was going to be happening tomorrow in Swan Hill. Um, but due to everything happening, um, everyone's decided to have a holiday instead. So we can still go along with our Harmony Day theme. And we'll be talking about a certain country. Um, so we will get started. So I hope you all have got your listening ears on. Can we click our listening ears on? Thank you, good job. Hey Emily, hey Andrea. Um, hey Lise, thank you for watching everyone. Um, so what we will do is we will start with shaking our hands. Can we loosen up our fingers? Flicking our fingers? Moving around our shoulders? Are we loosening up everyone? Can we have a bit of a wiggle and a shake? Can we stretch up to the sky? Good job. Can we tap our heads? And this is a tricky one, everyone. Can we tap our heads and rub our tummy at the same time? Not only you guys, but can mum or dad do it at the same time too? It's pretty tricky. Good job though. Okay, can we sit down very still? And we're going to listen, because today is a little bit different with story time. It's not like our move and groove where we're jumping around all morning. We need to do a bit more listening, and we're going to learn a few facts today. As I said, I'm going to be talking about a certain country in the world. And I'll give you some clues, and I wonder if you can guess what it is. Firstly, this country starts with the letter I. It has an it sound. And I know a lot of kids in primary school will learn this language at primary school. And it starts with it, the language. Also, in this country, it's actually shaped in the shape of a boot. So you picture a gum boot. It starts long at the top and then it comes in and then it hooks around at the bottom. Does anyone know yet? Okay, I'll give you some more clues. Now let's talk about the food that they might eat. Uh, one of the foods that they eat a lot is pasta and pizza. Does anyone know what it is? And also they have ice cream like we do, but they give it a different name. It's called gelati. Did I hear you say something? Can you say it again? Italy, that's it. Good job, guys. It is Italy. So today we are going to be talking about Italy. We're going to be doing some counting in Italian. We're going to sing happy birthday in Italian. And we're going to learn some new words. And at the end, we're going to read a book. So I hope you do have your listening ears on. Mum and Dad might be able to help you as well, or they might be able to learn something new. Okay, guys. So first of all, we have the Italian flag. These are the colours of the Italian flag. So we have green, white, and red. Very good. I see Andrea knows all about Italian and Italy. And, oh, I better do it the right way. <laughs> this is a picture of Italy. And it has lots of little countries inside it. And if I chip it this way a little bit, can you see the boot? Can you see that it starts up here with the big cuff, comes down and hooks around? It's a bit of a strange shape, but that is Italy, guys. So you can pick that on a map anytime. It's so easy. Okay. So first, we are going to learn some words. You may already know these words too. I'm not quite sure. And I hope I've drawn them backwards well enough so that you can all see properly. 
So the first one is how do we say hello in Italian? It is ciao. Here we go. Ciao. That means hello. And we have another one saying my name is and it's mi chiamo and Jane. My name's Jane. So mi chiamo Jane. You can say that to mum or dad. Mi chiamo and your name. Another one is this word here, casa. What do you think casa means? I've done a little picture here. Can you guess? It means house. I'm not a very good drawer, <laughs> but casa means house. So today I'm in my casa, house. And another one is grazie. Oh, I'll put this way. Grazie means thank you. So when someone gives you something or says something nice, you can say grazie, which means thank you. And when we go to sleep at night, instead of saying good night to mum and dad tonight, you might be able to remember this one. It is buona notte. So instead of saying good night mum, you go in and say buona notte. Can you say that? Buona notte. Good job guys. You're getting very good very quick. Okay, so this is our book we're going to read, but I will do that shortly. First, we're going to learn some counting. So firstly, can everyone count with me to 10 in English? So can we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? That was pretty easy. Now, how about learning in Italian? Do you reckon you can do it? Some of you guys might already know the words. So you can, you can say them along with me. Are we ready? I'll say them twice so we all have a good chance at saying them. Ready? Uno. Uno. Is one. Due. Due. It's two. Tre. Tre. Three. Quattro. Quattro is four. Cinque. Cinque is five. Then we have sei. Sei is six. Sette. Sette. Seven. Otto. Otto is eight. Nove. Nove is nine. And dieci. Dieci. So that's how many have we got? Ten. Good job. So we'll count again, one, one at a time. So we go uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci. That's ten. How did you go, guys? Maybe you can remember the number of how old you are. So if you're three, you would say tre. Or if you're five, you remember the number cinque. Or if you're seven, you remember the number sette. Or if you're ten, you can remember the number dieci. Good job. Now, I wonder if anyone knows anyone who's having a birthday coming up. Anyone know who's having a birthday? And we might be able to sing it at home. So instead of singing happy birthday to you, we're going to do that, but in Italian. So we're actually going to say tanti auguri. Tanti auguri means big wishes in Italian. So are you ready to sing along with me? It has the same tune as happy birthday. And all you need to know is tanti auguri a te. Which, which means big wishes to you. Okay? So can you try and sing along with me? All right, let's have a go. Tanti auguri a te. Tanti auguri a te. Tanti auguri a Jane. 
Tantiaguliate. Did you see what I did then? I added in et Jane, which means happy birthday to Jane. So when we sing happy birthday, we sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Jane. Happy birthday to you. I just did that in Italian and I put my name in there. Maybe this time we'll sing it again and you guys can say E eh and your name. Are we ready? Let's try it. Or you can put in E eh mum or E eh dad. Are we ready? Tanti auguri a te. Tanti auguri a te. Tanti auguri. Add your name. E Jane. Tanti auguri a te. How did you go? Did you go okay? I see that Tyson is turning 12 on Monday. Happy birthday, Tyson. How about we all sing a happy birthday to Tyson in Italian? Okay, we ready? Tanti auguri a te. Tanti auguri a te. Tanti auguri a Tyson. Tanti auguri a te. We hope that Tyson has a wonderful birthday on Monday and has lots of fun. Well done, guys. We've learned a lot so far. Excellent job with your counting and your happy birthday and learning about all these new words in Italian. Who can remember what hello means in Italian? It starts with a ch. Ciao. So we say hello. And you know what? That's a bit of a tricky word because that actually means goodbye as well. So if you say ciao and you mean hello, and when you say goodbye, you can just say ciao as well. Okay, so we might get into our story and after the story, we might do one more lot of counting and going through our words before I do say goodbye. Or should I say ciao? Okay, are we ready with our listening ears on? And ready for our book. So as I said, today we're reading One World Together by Catherine and Lawrence and Holt. One world together. I want a friend. Who will I choose? I went to Brazil. Hola, they say in Brazil. I met a boy called Paulo. Where does Paulo live? High in the sky. He's in these big tall buildings. Paulo's dad has a cool motorbike. And he even sits on the back. Everyone in Brazil plays football, which is soccer. We know it better as soccer here, but they call it football. And especially Paulo. Paulo would be a good friend. I went to Morocco. Salam. I met a boy called Muhammad. Muhammad plays in the street with his friends. Muhammad helps his father in the markets and gives a carrot to their donkey. He's feeding their donkeys. Muhammad would be a good friend. I went to Kenya. Jumbo, they say in Kenya for hello. I met a boy called Lucas. Lucas walks to school with his friends. There are lots of wonderful animals in Kenya, he says. Can you pick them? Can you see the rhinoceros, the zebra, elephant, giraffe, the lion, the cheetah? Amazing. Look at all those animals. There are lots of wonderful animals, he said. We must not waste the water, though. So they carry it on their heads very carefully. Maybe they don't have taps and things like we do. That's why they scoop it up and they carry it on their head. Lucas sleeps under a mosquito net. Good night, Lucas. Lucas would be a wonderful friend too. I went to the Netherlands. Hello. 
they say in Netherlands. I met twins called Sophie and Sam. They're wearing the same clothes. Sophie and Sam like anything with two wheels. So they love their bikes. Do you like your bikes? It's a great time now to get out on your bike or your scooter. Their favourite time is Christmas. <gasps> That's my favourite time too. Their mother is a doctor. Sophie wants to be a doctor too. The twins love to ride on their canal, uh, canal boats. <gasps> they get to go on the water on the canal. And these beautiful boats. Look, Sophie and Sam have a secret house in the garden. Sophie and Sam would be good friends too. I went to Sweden. Hej, they say in Sweden. I met a girl called Lily. Lily lives in a red wooden house. She is learning to play the recorder. Her favourite book is Pippi Longstocking. And a favourite person in her new is her new baby sister. Lily would be a good friend too. Have you guys got some good friends? I went to Russia. Privet. I met a girl called Galena. Galena has a, a doll inside a doll inside a doll inside a doll. <gasps> Look at all these dolls. I don't know if you've seen these before. These are called Russian dolls. And the little one goes into the next one to the next one to the next one. And they all fit in the big one. They're very special dolls. Galena wakes up early and makes lots of noise. See this, she says. I've won a special prize for dancing. She must be a good dancer. Her mum is going to have a baby. Ooh, she's going to be a big sister. Galena would be a good friend too. I went to India. Namaste, they say in India. I met a girl called Vanny. Vanny wants to be a famous, famous singer in a beautiful sari with lots of bracelets. How beautiful is that? Vanny's mother puts oil in her hair to make it beautiful and shiny. The rainy season is called the monsoon, says Vanny. It does rain a lot. Vanny would be a good friend too. I went to China. Ni hao. I met a girl called Lee. Lee loves to watch the dragon dance. Oh, look at this dragon. That looks amazing. There are more people in China than any country in the world, says Lee. Lee likes computer games. Who else likes computer games? Anyone at home like computer games? Hey? She plays ping pong with her dad. She eats her food with chopsticks. That is so tricky. Has anyone tried to eat their food with chopsticks? I would be a good friend too. Last of all, I went to Japan. Ohio. I met a boy called Yuki. Yuki and his friends bow to their teacher. He takes his shoes off when he goes inside his house. He loves to eat sushi. My favourite day is Children's Day. Yuki would be a good friend too. But who will I choose? <gasps> he does want a friend. Look, he's choosing from all these friends. Who would you choose? We are all good friends, we are. <gasps> Here we go. <gasps> One world together. Look at all these different people around the world coming from different countries. And that's the end of the story. Thank you so much, guys, for coming on today and saying hello and joining in with everything. I hope you all learned something. But before we go, we might practice our words. 
So I wonder if you can remember our special words that we learnt today. Are we ready? Okay, so before we go, we'll learn these. We watching? Who knows this one? Ciao, which means hello or goodbye. And casa, which means house. And this is what we say when we go to bed at night. Buona notte. And when we say thank you, we say grazie. And the last one is to let someone know your name is mi chiamo. And then your name. My name's Jane. So I say mi chiamo Jane. So I hope you can remember one of those words, guys. And before we go, we might just count to ten. Okay, Ali and Tess, you might be able to join in. Ready? Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinque, sei, sette, otto, nove, dieci. Good job, girls. Well done. So thank you all for joining us today for our story time going live. Um, I'm sure we'll have a lot more sessions for you next week and also during the week don't forget to tune into our baby rhyme time on Friday at 10:30, and also our move and groove on the Wednesday we'll have a lot more things coming up and uh, yeah thanks for joining in and we'll see you soon bye guys <laughs>